Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm joined by Yvette Ramos, President of Swiss Engineering Romandie here in Switzerland. She's also Director of the International Network of Women Engineers and Scientists. Yvette, welcome. And I understand that you've been having a workshop this morning on drawing up a code of conduct for ICTs. Why is a code of conduct needed? In fact, we believe the engineers and architects of the world uh, that uh, it's been enough now. Many things have happened, many codes of ethics and co code of conducts and morals and etc. have been built for the past 10, 20, 30 years. But uh, yet we are not there. We want concrete actions on the field. And we believe that uh, with the action lines of the WISIS, with the new uh, SDGs now, we can find concrete actions and concrete things to be done with the engineers in ICTs, with ICT people in general, with men and women who want to achieve more than what we've just achieved until now. Where then have been the challenges up to now? I think until now, uh, challenges have been barriers in general. We, we have concrete projects that we can run on the field. We have the money. I, I believe strongly that the, the, the money is never an issue, really. But uh, to get things done is a bit different. And sometimes uh, barriers, political barriers, social barriers, uh, many barriers can happen. And uh, we tried this morning to envisage complex actions without barriers. In fact, we want really to work for inclusion. And we believe we can do that. And at this workshop, you were saying there are men and women. Uh, where were they from? Actually, we had a wonderful panel of eight people. I was moderating and we had a French speaker. We had, uh, I was representing Switzerland, but I'm a native of Europe, Portugal, France. We had Latin America in a remote participation. Wonderful, thank you ITU for this uh, amazing uh, tour. Uh, we had also Vietnam, uh, so Asia kind of was uh, represented. We had Cameroon with the participation of René Sobmadje. She's very known in um, building uh, ICT projects uh, with Africa. And we had UK, we had, uh, uh, I would say, many parts of the world who were really international and also men and women, actually. This is maybe the first panel where I see a majority of women uh, speaking. So that was a wonderful opportunity. As you say, it's a wonderful opportunity, but what happens now? How do you build on this to make sure yeah. it actually happens? Actually, we decided to create a task team and a lot of people from the room, from the audience, uh, was willing to help. They are not engineers, but we welcome all uh, competencies as long as we are constructive. Uh, we want to build concretely towards um, crossing issues, conc crossing projects, SDGs, uh, action lines of the WISIS and uh, inclusion. Thank you very much, Yvette Ramos, for joining us, the President of Swiss Engineering and Director of the International Network of Women Engineers and Scientists. So please also do join us on the ITU YouTube channel because we'll be conducting a number of interviews with interesting participants from all over the world who are attending the WISIS Forum in Geneva this week.